Hey, it's Paul here in the Friendly Reviewer. I recently posted a video where I go in great detail reviewing the Amplified HD system and testing it out. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the app and see what settings you can change, how you can configure it, and also how you can check out the status. Before we begin, check out the description below for links to everything that we talk about. Now let's get into the app. First of all, you can use the app to set up the system, and that process went very smoothly. You can find a link in the description below of a video that I did specifically around the setup. When you open up the app on the system page, you'll see icons which can quickly give you the status of the router and the mesh points. You'll also see a real-time view along the bottom for the number of devices connected, as well as the current download and upload rate. To access the settings of any device, you simply click on its icon. For the router settings, you can vary the LCD brightness and the LED brightness. You can enable night mode, which turns off the screen at night. When enabled, you can choose the hours for when night mode begins and ends. You can choose to display the Wi-Fi protected setup on the display. You long press the screen to use this feature with supported devices. The advanced section allows you to change the range and show the subnet, start, end, and lease validity. Here you can also add static leases. Similarly, you can set up port forwarding. Under the about section, you can see the model, version information, and MAC addresses. Firmware update allows you to update your firmware to the latest version. You can also send support information, which contains a bunch of information about your system. Under general, you can change the device name, time zone, time format, and the sound effects volume. A few actions you can perform on this page is to locate it, which will cause it to ring, flash, and say here on the display, change the password, reboot the system, or perform a factory reset. Under the internet page, you can change the network type to static, DHCP, or PPPoE. You can see the IP address, network mask, gateway address, primary DNS address, and the secondary DNS address. You can toggle hardware NAT, UPnP, clone MAC address, VLAN ID, IPv6, which brings up options for DHCP6 or 6 to 4, and then you can also set it to bridge mode. Under the wireless page, you can change the SSID name, the Wi-Fi password, change the security type, and choose whether you want to make the SSID hidden for both the main Wi-Fi and the guest Wi-Fi. You can also change the country, toggle band steering, which prioritizes the 5 GHz for performance and falls back to the 2.4 GHz when necessary. Toggle router steering, which prioritizes direct communication back to the router opposed to hopping through mesh points, and toggle using separate Wi-Fi SSIDs. Under advanced, you can change the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz settings. On the base system page, by tapping on the mesh points, you can see the signal quality in the mesh point band. Under general, you can change the device name, toggle system sounds, the LEDs, pause the mesh point, and check out the model and version information. You can perform actions such as locate, which makes it beep, reboot it, and send support information. Along the bottom of the base page, you can check the performance, which provides a real-time view of the system throughput. You can also perform a speed test to check the connection to the internet service provider. I thought it was nice that it keeps a list of the history for you. Under guest, it allows you to customize your guest's Wi-Fi settings to limit the maximum number of guests on the system, limit their Wi-Fi duration, or set it to always on. You can click a button to send your guest Wi-Fi information to someone. Clicking on settings brings you to the guest Wi-Fi setting page we previously talked about. Under family, you can pause the internet for all devices or pause it just for a certain device. You can also click on a certain device to see more details. Under diagnostics, you can perform a quick check to see if all is in order with your system. On the upper left of the app, you can get to the amplified home screen, which is gonna take you to the home page for amplified HD. Check out the terms of service, which is always a fun read. Visit the help center. Get live support, which allows you to text chat with Amplify. I tested this out to see how long it would take for a response. On a Saturday afternoon, it took about four minutes to get someone from the support team engaged. I thought it wasn't too bad. You can also set up remote access using Facebook or Google. This will allow you to manage your system when you're not on your Wi-Fi network. Overall, I was pretty pleased with the app. There's a lot of stuff in here that most Wi-Fi systems don't have in their app configuration. Now there are some settings that they don't have in the app that some other systems have in their web pages. I would say for most people, there's stuff that they have in here is more than sufficient for them, but there are gonna be some people that really like to dive in there and change every little thing, and they're gonna be wanting a little bit more from the system here. But that's a really, really small amount of people. 
If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. This has been Paul with the Amplified HD app. Thank you for watching. <laughs>